there. Today I want to briefly consider the Migo Splat. Now the Migo Splat is a tripod mount for different types of cameras depending on the type you pick up. Now this is for an action type camera but you can also get an SLR or a CSC setup. Now when you look at it, what you're basically talking about is a small screw mount. It also comes with your tripod mount but you could hook on all types of things to this. You know, there's a lot of uh, external lighting, for example, that comes with, say, your GoPro or action type cameras, and you could mount them the same way. It's easy to hook up and to set up. You know, usually when you're tightening something, you're, you're going to want to tighten it down that extra little bit by um, adding a screwdriver here, but I'm not going to do that for just video's sake. But now when you're looking at this, one thing that sets it apart from other types of tripods is its ability to basically be contorted to any of your needs. You know, you could set it down flat. You know, and it's pretty easy to, uh, to set up and adjust, but it's also going to hold its shape. You know, you could set it up for uh, a taller tripod type mount. And, you know, again, you could set it up and hold it. You could actually hold it as a steadier. You could wrap it around your wrist if you wanted to. You could also, one thing that really sold me on it is you could wrap it around a tree branch. You know, I don't have a lot of things that I could uh, to mount to something with a really weird shape. But this not only wraps around, but you can see the uh, non-slip grips. You know, it has use, utilizes uh, non-slip dots. And the dots actually allow you, when you're locking it into place for nothing to move out of there. You can see how well it grips just like that. And the amount of flexibility here is actually pretty amazing. You know, and it, it holds its shape really well. You can see that there's no strain or anything in it, so it's going to last a long time. But it still is easy enough to adjust that I can bend it outward. Again, with not too much effort, so you're not end up hurting your wrist uh, while you're recording. You don't want to put in a lot of effort when you're wanting to do something, but you want something that you can set up really, really quickly. And I think this takes that to the next level. You know, no longer are you talking about having to say, pop this off, throw it on a wrist guard, or pop this off.